Around the world, people are demonstrating the beginning of a revolution in the way we trade. Groups of traders on a wide variety of scales have begun to create their own currencies. Many currencies are for a specific purpose. To give a very local example, in New York, the Comfort Restaurant was able to raise most of its startup capital by providing Comfort dollars, which it sold in exchange for food later. One hundred dollars could buy one hundred and twenty Comfort dollars that could be spent at the Comfort Restaurant. They raised twenty-five thousand dollars. And were even able to use comfort dollars for a part of their website and lawyer fees. Many currencies are even quite familiar. Travelers can now earn frequent flyer miles, which they can use to buy tickets later at times when all the seats on an airline can't be filled. The costs are small for the airline, and they gain the loyalty of customers. Miles can now be exchanged for hotel rooms and car rentals, and even magazine subscriptions. And businesses can then use miles for travel expenses. Say over the course of a year, Alice travels sixteen thousand miles with a particular airline. At the end of the year, she can then use fifteen thousand miles with the same airline to purchase a round-trip ticket. Alice can then use the 1,000 miles she has left over to purchase a magazine subscription. The magazine company accumulates miles over time from many customers that it can use to purchase tickets for less than what they would have otherwise earned. Business currencies like these can now even be exchanged for each other, like how people can trade national currencies. Even on the largest scale, international trade can be difficult, and large-scale barter has become increasingly common. Counter trade is linked to 25% of world trade today. In one famous example, Pepsi traded soft drinks for vodka, which it had the infrastructure to sell back in the United States and around the world. People have proposed creating a variety of currencies that would facilitate international trade, from anti-inflationary stable currencies linked to a basket of commodities, to mutual credit systems between people and businesses. One such currency in Switzerland, called the Vir, has been in circulation for many decades and has shown to be one reason the Swiss economy is considered the most robust in the world. Around 20% of businesses in Switzerland use the currency in a network. They use it where they don't have enough Swiss francs, especially when the Swiss franc weakens during global downturns. So as the Swiss franc weakens, people use more vir, and as the Swiss franc strengthens, people use more Swiss francs. Now the vir. Can be used in combination with the Swiss franc on a single card. People who use the currency can choose from a wide range of products that are published in a catalog, like this. With the information revolution, the possibilities are endless. Increasingly, anyone can create information to be received by anyone. And anyone who needs something can be connected to someone who can provide it. New currencies can be readily created and circulate more easily as people can readily find products and trading partners. Hundreds of communities around the world have begun their own initiatives using readily available software and online applications. One common system is called a time bank. Say someone needs their kids to be taken care of for two hours while they do chores. They post their need on a local forum or find others on the forum who are already offering childcare. Someone browsing the forum agrees, and that person then earns two time dollars. The transaction is recorded in the time bank. 
and the person can then use their two time dollars to purchase two hours of goods or services from anyone using the system. Currencies like these are redefining work and have enabled many communities to work when they don't have full employment through traditional jobs. From individuals and businesses to communities and regions to industries and networks to larger scale ubiquitous systems, complementary currencies will create a world that is far more dynamic and balanced while being secure and sustained and abundant.